Hey crafty friends, it's Kim. We're in my craft room today. I'm gonna show you a few things. First thing I wanna show you is what is in this blue basket. So over the weekend, I was watching Enchanted by Craft Soleil. She's on YouTube and she's on Pinterest and she posted some videos. I think there was at least three or four videos on what to do with your scrap papers. And so my scrap bucket was really filling up and so I was thinking, okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Well, let me show you this first. The first idea she said was to take your paper and to cut it into strips six inches long, half inch and one inch. And you can also take other strips which are not six inches as well and you can just cut those up. She reminded us that we could use these as banners. Just snip that and make that into banners. So that's one thing. But then what she really wanted to share and she shared this in another video was that after you take that six inch strip or even the, um, the smaller strip and all you need to do is just glue them to make these shapes that look like this and then just a circle and then you're going to flatten them out and you're going to put them together to create flowers and then you'll put more on here and all of that so you'll have I have not tried making the flowers yet I just cut out and oh my gosh did you hear my husband so I'm making a video honey oh, I'm sorry. that's okay and um, so um, let's see, where, where was I? Oh, okay, so my husband helped me um, glue all of these this weekend, and I love that she, when she put them together, she said, don't worry about, because as a, a newbie crafter, I worry about everything. She said, don't worry about, you know, the patterns or the colors. She said, just put them together and just make these flowers, glue them together, kind of like, you know, this, and then you'll just put something in the center, and then you'll just be able to use them on different crafts that you do. So so I'm really excited to start that process and I have all of this to work with so far. And then, of course, I have all of these that I can use, you know, some of these as banners on little um, little projects. And then the other thing, the idea she had was just to look at your paper and, you know, just cut up little squares, little shapes that you can use as little borders and backgrounds, especially if you have patterns like llamas and strawberries and circles or mini pa Mickey paper or candles or whatever. So I have those in another one right there. And then I have another bag right here and I'll show you what's in there. Basically, it's just different sizes of paper that I've cut and I've just folded over once. So I've been watching um, Pink Strawberries channel quite a bit and she does a lot of paper crafting and she does a lot of little projects, flip folders and um, other projects where you can add other little um, folders and you could add little pockets on and so all she does is she takes this and just glues that and then she might cut a little strip here or add a little tap there, make this a little pocket. So I cut out just some different sizes um, of the different papers. And again, um, you know, this one I can use to fold this way. I just love the folded pockets and folded um, folder tutorials. And um, that's what I love. That's what I'm loving to do right now. So I can add these or I can use these on, you know, up against um, a doily when I make it an embellishment. And then look at this, guys. I have this one um, paper pad that um, had this. Uh, had this these are so cute so I just kind of cut those out to be little you know I could just use those as well so anyway so I just have a whole bag of those which I'm loving that so then the next thing I did was I just went ahead and cut out some cards these are what size are these um are these four and a half by five and a half so i just went ahead and cut out some cards that i could actually just you know these will i can just use these in envelopes with cards or would do whatever i want to do with those so here's the last thing i did with the scrap paper i just started making some little pockets these are so fun and so easy to make i can also add these when i'm making you know the little um folders and so i made this one going this way is really pretty paper and I'm not sure why I added this up here I don't really know if I like that but I'm gonna keep it and then I just made this one right here too so just these library pockets I guess they're called they're just so fun to make and so easy and you can use your scrap paper for these as well okay 
So then after I did all of that with the scrap paper, I decided I'm just gonna, I came upstairs, I put all that away, and then I just grabbed a couple pads of paper and decided just to make a few other things. So I just made some more envelopes. These four by six envelopes are just so great to have because you can use them as a, you know, a stuffed envelope. You can add another piece of paper um, to them to make them two together, add a little pocket down here. I've been doing more snail mail lately, so I can just um, use these is envelopes <laughs> um, to uh, mail out um, notes in them. And then this is one of the projects that I'm really liking. And I think Pink Strawberry just calls this a um, a flat, some a type of flat mail. And so I just went ahead and made, there's this, a few of these because these can be embellished up really easy. There's a pocket there, there's a pocket there. You can open up that, put a little photo or put something there, put a brad there and then just decorate that up. So I use the same paper pad. I just turned the paper inside out to do that one. And then I think I've already shown this. I've I already made this, but I haven't done anything with it. And then the last thing I did with the paper pads, and I'm really liking this. This is one of my favorite um, projects so far that Pink Strawberry has um, shown. And this, she's called, she calls this a pocket folio. And basically you take, it starts with a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you just score it, cut it, fold it. And it's so fun and so easy and it's really useful. Um, sometimes I cut it too short on this side. That's the only thing, so I'm not crazy about that when I cut it too short. But what I love about this is that, um, well, one, you can use a 12 by 12 piece of paper. It's so easy to do. And then you can fold it over and you can put a brad right here. You can just put some ribbon around it. And then you can embellish this right here, decorate it. There's a pocket, has a pocket here which is like a gift card size pocket, pocket here, pocket here. You can also decorate this as well. So I just love that because that's a great piece of flat mail that you can send out. And so, and you can see that I've already rounded the corners on that one as well. So I made these as well. I just really like this paper. Um, I think these three came from the same pad of paper. And so I haven't rounded the edges on here yet, but it's the same idea. Um, so you can see that I just made three different pieces of paper there. And then same thing here. This is just really fun. You can really work with this. There's a lot going on there. And then this one, I just kind of cut that kind of at an edge to see that pocket there just because it was a really light paper. And I don't know, just having a straight edge right there really didn't add too much. But anyway, I like the outside. I like this pattern of paper. It's really pretty. You can really, um, I think you can really embellish it up. So, all right. So that's what I did. And guys, I just want to say this. So let me, I'm going to move this over here while I tell you this. So even though I've been joining some challenges and I've made some things, I'm going to include them in um, in, in this video. I'll show you a few of the pictures of, of the things that I've been making. I'm really just not that comfortable. I'm sharing <laughs> been making because I just I don't know I'm just I'm just not that good yet and so I'm comfortable and I'm satisfied with what I've been mailing out and um and I wouldn't send it out if I wasn't but I'm just still not at that level I could say hey here guys this is what I made and maybe I'll get there soon but um, I'm just not there at the moment. And so um, anyway, I just the last thing I want to do for this video is I just want to share what you're looking at right here, this paper and these envelopes and this tool. OK, and this is just some of the tool. The rest is in that box that's down. You there. guys have in your local area, Facebook local. So these three things that I'm sharing with you right now, I purchased on my local Fresno um, Facebook local. So it's where people in our community, in your local community that live down the street from you or across town from you, they have items that they're selling and always at a great price. So I bought these, let me see, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 20. So I bought these, I think there's 25 of them. Well, there's less because I just mailed some out in some happy mail last week, but 25 of these um, padded envelopes and these envelopes are, what size are these? Nine, 10, <laughs> 10 by five and a half or something. So, um, you know, and they're, they're padded and you can fit stuff, lots in there. So that's great. I got 25 of these. Tell me how much you think I paid for those. 
drum roll please drum roll please <laughs> I bought these for ten dollars so there was a girl locally that was selling them and I saw them and I thought shoot I could definitely use those for mailing out um, you know projects and things and I went to mail one of these already to someone and I think it cost it cost me less than four dollars it was like three dollars and sixty cents with the flat mail that I had in it so that was awesome so I bought that the second thing that I've purchased um, in the last month or so 25 rolls of tool and you can see that they're different colors so this one is brand new this one's a royal blue a light blue what is this silver so a majority of them of the 25 were brand new there were a few that were open this is like this because I've been using them since I got them so 25 rolls of tool most of them brand new I want to say there were four that were open already and slightly used how much do you think I got got all that for and there's the rest of it in there how much do you think I got all that for guys $20 $20, right? So I'm excited about that, okay? And I'm gonna be hopefully sharing them um, soon with um, one of my YouTube friends here. Um, hopefully she'll let me know what color she wants and then I can send them right to her. And then I plan on using these, I've been using them when um, with those little um, folio um, folders that I've flat mail that I've been making just kind of wrapping them up um, but I really would like to um, make some little bows shaker bows or some a couple of other little projects that I've been seeing on YouTube so um, I just love all the different colors there's the purple and red and there's um, not any doubles I well no I take that back I think there's a two blacks and maybe two reds but the rest are all um, single colors so all right so guys, this is the last thing that I bought and I just actually bought this, um, picked this up this morning. See the stack of paper. This first one is Recollections Pink Buttons Cardstock Paper, 50 sheets, 65 pounds. And this is brand new. These are all brand new. They haven't been opened. This is Creative Memories, eight and a half by 11, 48 sheets. Um, and so you can see the colors there. And then these next colors are from the paper company, 50 sheets, eight and a half by 11. This is Valentine colors. And so you can see that. This one is the paper company Meadow colors, 35 sheets, eight and a half by 11. You can see the colors there. The paper company 50 sheets, eight and a half by 11 purple passion. You can see the color. And again, all of these are brand new, haven't been opened. This is the Paper Company Crafts and Creativity 36 Sheets, 8.5 by 11 Heritage Colors. That's great. Has, that's brand new. And then this is Solid Cardstock, 50 Sheets, 8.5 um, by 11, 25 Assorted Colors. So you can see all the different colors that are there. And I'm imagining those are all the colors that are in there. That's brand new too, hasn't been opened. And so the rest of these, it looks like this has been open because she said majority were new. When she advertised it on Facebook Marketplace, she said a majority of them are brand new. Um, there's a few that have been open. So you can see this is the same thing, cardstock, um, colors. This one is brand new. So far, that's the only one that, the one I just showed you is the only one. And it's all card, that, that's the only one that's been opened. And this is all cardstock. You can see the you can see the colors there. That's brand new. This one ha looks like it's brand new. It hasn't been opened. It just has a little tear in the paper, but you can see you can see the colors there. The next one, these are all look like they're probably I would think 50 sheets eight and a half by 11 different colors. This probably is the only one that I actually do have. I actually own probably just this one. And then the last one, look at this one. This is 500 sheets, eight and a half by 11 multi-purpose bond paper. This is 24 um, pound. So this would be paper that I would probably put in my printer, I'm thinking, but I could also you know, probably use it um, in crafting as well. But I'm gonna put this one in my office. The rest of these, the rest of all of these, I'm gonna keep here in my craft room. Okay, guys. So, what do you think? What do you think I paid for all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this? What do you think I paid? Well, I paid $20, two zero, 
$20. That's it. Can you believe that? I went and picked it up from her house this morning. She just left uh, for all of these, um, for the envelopes and for the tool. Um, so the deal was I just paid them on Venmo, all three of them. And then I said, can you please just leave them on your porch and I will come and pick them up from you. And all of them were there. All of them said no problem. So I just paid them on um, Venmo and then I just went and picked them up from them and nice and easy, no problem. So, and the paper I had seen, it had been on Facebook Marketplace for probably a week, but I thought, you know, sometimes people, they sell something and they just, you know, it stays on there. So I thought for sure someone had um, already purchased it. So I thought, well, oh, it was over the weekend and I was just sitting there and um, was looking at it and, you know, and so I messaged her and within probably 10 minutes, she messaged me back and she said, yeah, it's still available if you want it. I said, okay, I Venmoed her within 10 minutes and, um, and told her I'd pick them up Monday morning and yeah so I just cannot believe this I'm just so excited to have all of this paper and I know that um, I am going to be using the tool and I'm going to be using this and all this will stay in my craft paper craft room like I said so guys if you have bought any great purchases through your local Facebook marketplace group lately let me know in the comments down below I just think it's an exciting place to look just to find things people just need to get things off of their hands on our local um, Facebook group there's an arts and crafts box that you can check and there's all kinds of people that are always trying to get rid of their um, stamps rubber stamps um, people are trying to get rid of paper a lot of times and other craft supplies um, so and but I you know I just can't buy all of them I just have to kind of go with what I actually need and I really do need um, I do need paper for uh, making cards and for other crafts so I was excited but I'd share with you guys hope that you're having a wonderful day today a wonderful week this week stay home stay safe talk to you soon bye